Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. If you missed yesterday's video, Paul Wallace yes! is here. Woohoo! Yeah! It's a bit over the top. Yeah. You may also have not seen in his video that last night we got back to our apartment and he suggested that he rented the car that I would drive to Vegas today. So we're headed to Vegas for SEMA and I've driven the road from LA to Vegas and Vegas to LA about 45 times in the last couple of weeks. So to make it interesting, he goes, well, why don't I hire the car and it will be a surprise. I was quite excited by that idea until this morning he came in with what can only be described as a prank face. So now I'm incredibly nervous as to what the hell we're going to be driving to Vegas. Time to get in an Uber and go and find out. If you don't know, Which there is a history <laughs> with me and the M ranges on. Uh... <laughs> There's not really a history with me though. No, I wanted to explore. But it. Like, I don't want it like M3. I, I firstly, you're right. I prefer the M3 to the M4. I'm oh, cool. That is uh, Damien in the Z06, he is joining us today. Um, so yeah, I slagged off a Z06, <laughs> slagged off an M4. <laughs> today I'm basically with both, even though this is an M3. Um, yeah, I I'm going to keep an open mind. I, you know, I haven't been back in an M3 or an M4, I think, since I nearly ended my YouTube channel by filming <laughs> with one. The thing that I was trying to establish is this does, we were saying, it, it feels like it must be an old year this car like one of the early cars because the interior is incredibly dated <laughs> right let's begin our four-hour road trip to vegas in a bmw m3 <laughs> good choice from me <laughs> I'm not going to blame this on the M3, but we are lost. Sign of all good road trips. Get lost in the first 30 seconds. <coughs> it's a fun start to the journey, isn't it? Comfy. A bit bumpy, I thought. Has it got a softer suspension setting? Are we in. Don't put the aircon on, I can't hear the GoPro. Mm. Okay, right, cool, that sounds good. <laughs> BMWs on the on the daily hunt. Yeah. You consider a I think so. Mate, I reckon money. so. What are these? Now? Yeah, but forty yeah, grand or something like that. Yeah, like forty-five. But it's the same as a used RS3. Yeah, you just said RS3. <laughs> Why would you? It's worth considering all options. Think of an Audi interior right now over this interior. Yeah, but it's the old RS3. This is the old M3. <laughs> no, this is the new. This is the 2006 <laughs> interior. <laughs> BMW are famous. But it's got carbon, it's nice. If you have carbon. Yeah, carbon helps. The carbon definitely helps. Carbon helps. The speakers help. You're not looking at the inside anyway, you're looking at where you're going. Sure. <laughs> So yes, we are headed today back to Vegas for SEMA, if you haven't uh, seen those updates. So we're going to have this M3 now, 
uh, until Friday when we come back to LA. Um, today, like, the, the drive to Vegas is quite boring. The poor super psyched for it, but I think it's uh, boring if you've done it. Yeah, no, no, but no, even even if it's the first time. <laughs> really? Because it's it's weirdly scenic, but American highway driving is not like European highway driving. Okay, you know the first section of the road to Monaco, that France, the first yeah. five or six yeah. hours, it's that. Yeah, but that's like all fields. This is all desert. Yeah, like I don't see desert every day, so I'm excited. Okay, I'll well keep, anyway. I'll keep you posted. It means that there's not always a ton of stuff to talk about uh, during the actual trip, but we'll try and keep you updated. Um, you can count how many carbon weaves there are across here. Yeah, I'm not going to share too many thoughts about the M3 because I don't want to get my uh, channel reported for abuse by, uh, <laughs> by a certain group of people. I mean, I will admit, it is a good looking car. It does look good, Paul. Yeah. The, M, the M3 for sure over the M4. We are officially an hour outside of Las Vegas, and um, yeah. Very M3, comfortable. M3 still running. <laughs> of course uh, it's gonna run. Of course it's gonna run. Uh, we've done some accelerations, it's been pretty quick. It um, is quick. Yeah, you know what? Not bad. You like it? Well, um, I, yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I like it. And from a passenger point, it's a really, really nice place to sit. The visibility is pretty strong. And I'm just like, it's kind of, in a way, backfired on me. Because my idea of sort of picking the rental car was sort of a car that I really want to experience, but I knew that you didn't like them, and now all of a sudden, like, you're sort of slowly... No, no, I'm not. Slowly no, going, no, no. But I'm saying, like, I just want to drive it. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> yeah, well, you could. I'd be really happy if you did. <laughs> I don't know why... The I police wouldn't. For me. Yeah, no, police wouldn't at all. Um, no, 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 I, yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not something like, oh, I love the M3! That's what you're doing off the camera, just five minutes ago, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. But yeah, but like, like, but it's you know. I just want, I just, want, I actually want to just drive one. And there we go. We have arrived into Vegas. I've come to drop Paul off at ED Exotic Driving Experiences. I was here a few weeks ago. He is here to check out some of their cars, as you can see lined up. I've actually got to go off to do something else, but it means that our journey in the M3 today is over. <laughs> Which you're not happy about. You want to carry on driving it, you want to carry on putting miles on it. I've got to drive it back on Friday. <laughs> I've got to drive all the way back on the same road in the same car. Anyway, it's a beast. Today is over. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, any M3 fans out there? How you doing? Uh, and make sure you subscribe for plenty more videos to come. Thank you.